Okay, okay. I'm going to show you how to set the grip of a tool without using Tool Grip Editor, which uh, has become problematic ever since they upgraded it and changed the way it works. It has become confusing to use, not to mention that it now costs 20 Robux, but uh, it has become confusing and it simply did not work for me. It might work for other people, but it simply did not work for me. Uh, and very confusing. So once and for all, you can understand how to set a grip of a tool without using the tool grip editor. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is identify the origin of the world, meaning position 0, 0, 0, and orientation 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to put a part in the middle of the world, and I'm going to call it world origin. Uh, I'm going to make it a special color that will make it stand out. And you don't have to make it that color. Uh, position, well, first I'm going to change it to a sphere, um, a ball. And uh, I'm going to make it a little smaller. I want to make it about the size of a fist, because this thing is going to be representative of the player's fist holding the tool. A little smaller. That's about what it would be. Now, once you re once you re uh, scale it, you have to change its position again to zero 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 because scaling changes its position. Uh, its orientation is at zero. So now I can't even see it. So what I'm going to do is move the base plate downward a little bit so that I can see it. Holy cow! That's funny. It went way down there. Now that's the world origin. Okay, right there. This, again, click on it, look over here, this is position 0, 0, 0, and orientation 0, 0, 0. Now we have to identify where the front of this is. So what we do is go down here to the surfaces and say front surface. I'm going to make it um, studs. There. See that stud? That will tell me that this is the front of uh, this sphere, which represents the uh, world origin, so the world is facing this way. Now I'm going to create my tool. So go in here and say tool, and um, I got to create a, um, a handle of the tool. This tutorial assumes you know how to, how to with that the handle is the critical part of the tool, and there's my handle, and I'm going to make it a cylinder. And I'm going to make it a color that will stand out. Yeah, very easy to see. I'm going to, um, I'm going to scale it a little bit. So basically a stick. Okay, that'll be my tool. Uh, now let's move it. Now what I'm going to do now is set. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to name my tool Sill cylinder okay well let's name it let's name it stick okay uh, now uh, now I'm going to work on the grip position of this tool so if I was to use this stick right now put it in the starter pack and play the game Okay, we can see that the orientation is not exactly how we would like it to be. So what I'm going to do is um, move it into... Uh, okay, in order to operate on it, you have to put it in the workspace. And then you open it, and I'm going to take the handle and move it to the way I would like it to look when it's in the person's hand. So envision uh, the, the world origin as the as the player's hand and we're going to rotate it into position I'm going to go say 45 these are 45 degree increments um, now I'm moving into position let's get in close here Now 
once again, that that red ball is the player's hand or fist. Think of it that way. Okay. Now, I'll slide it down a little. Just so my base plate is, uh, I can see through. I'm going to make the base plate half transparent. There. Now that's about how I would like it. Again, just handle. You see that stud on the front? That means that's front facing. Now, now we have the handle's orientation the way we like it. It's C-frame. Now we have to set the grip of the stick. The stick has a property that's not seen here. This, I mean, that's the tool has a property that's not seen here. That that property is called grip. It is a C-frame in and of itself. So what we have to do is set the grip to the C-frame of this tool, but but the inverse C-frame of this tool. And here's the command to do it. Uh, I'm calling it stick, not cylinder. Stick dot handle dot C frame inverse. So I'm going to enlarge this in case it's hard to see. Let's go in here. Okay. There's the command. Okay. Stick dot grip, which is a C frame. This is a C frame. Is to be set to the handle the handle C frames inverse. Okay. And I'm going to run this command. And this is using the command bar, which is something you usually will find down here at the bottom. If you don't see it, you would go up here and click command. It turns it on and off. You right click up here. See your command bar. And I don't like it down there, so I pick it up by this handle and I float it up here. That's how I get it. Now, that has run. Now I will take the tool out of the workspace and put it in the starter pack. Control S to save it, and I run the game. Press it, and it's got the orientation that I like, 45 degrees forward. That's how I chose to do it. Simple as that. Okay. Um, now I'll just go in, let's say I wanted to change it a little bit. Say I wasn't totally happy with it. I'd take it, put it back into the workspace, click on the handle, and operate on the handle. I want to reorient it a little bit. Um, let's say I want to change it in, not by 45 degree increments, but by 10 degree increments. And I want to go upward a little bit more. Maybe, even a little, maybe I want to make it like that. All right, move it. Now, again, you've got to place it inside this red ball. As if the red ball is the, is the player's hand. And now we should have a uh, position that's more like that. Less. Now I have to rerun this command down here. Set the, the stick's grip, which is a C frame, to the inverse C frame of the handle. Run it. Okay, that's done. Now we take it out of the workspace, put it back into starter pack, where it's going to be going to save the game and run it. And now we see that the grip has 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 worked the way we wanted it to. Okay, so this is a way. Uh, the reason the origin disappeared is because it's not anchored. Um, this is a way to set grips. World origin anchor it here. It fell off the world. Um, to set tool grips without the tool grip editor, and it's actually a better way because it helps you to understand how it works, and you have you can have total control over it. Tool grip editor, uh, since they changed it, became unusable in my opinion. Okay, thanks for watching.